Hello, welcome pen friends. I had a couple of requests to show how I make my ink splatters. So this is a little bit of an awkward setup and I don't know how it'll work, but I'll try it anyway. And my inspiration was from Goulet Pens. They did a video on it. So I'll link you to that. I don't remember what they said much. I just ended up doing it the way I do it which is just super simple so i'll go ahead and show you you just need your ink sample your paper i got the tamoy river 52 gsm you know in your syringe and then i just put my cutting board or a cookie sheet over my sink because i know that things are going to go everywhere but it doesn't really matter if i'm in the right place so all i do is just draw up some ink this is tomorrow's so you'll be seeing this one draw up some ink doesn't matter how much and then let it all go back into the vial <clears throat> cover it because i can get carried away and spill it even with this thing then uh, go ahead and draw it back and sometimes the first time i don't end up with enough ink i got a feeling that could happen this time but if it does it'll be good because i can just show you so you you know you push a bunch of air in there and you only have a little ink in there right so then you just whoops yeah you just splash it and I didn't get a lot the first time so what I do when that happens I just go ahead and try it again and this one isn't as dark so so I just draw it up and then draw it back down in <clears throat> and we'll go again this time so and I usually do it kind of quickly so I'll just do it the way I do I'm gonna move the sample uh, I just draw it back and then splash it <laughs> Okay, so that's basically it. It comes out different every single time. Um, I know that another video must have been their video where they would, uh, you know, maybe make it do stuff, but I don't do that. It, it just comes out really different every time, no matter how you go about it. So I'll probably pause this and try another color just to show a darker color. Okay, now I got one that we'll be doing in October, the Jocks. Arbon Blue Ast Astral. I'm not sure how to pronounce that yet, but this is coming up. This this was from Goulet Pens that they sent the uh, samples, and I think with a, a a darker blue, we'll see a little bit different. But this is actually a new syringe. The other dirty ones over there, and I'll clean them as soon as we're done. <clears throat> Obviously, you want to do that because. <laughs> okay, so I fill it, or you know, partially fill it, and then I. Let that ink out and then I just draw up some air. Okay, this looks like it has plenty. So then I just spray like that and then I do it several times. And because I already usually have lettering on there, I try to make it to where it'll uh, not cover up the lettering. But And then of course it's going to dry totally different from how it is now. But that's literally all I do. Um, this orange one is interesting. I, I don't know if I'll try it again or not or just, but most of the time I just, however it comes out, it comes out. And I'll, I'll write the ink on once I get um, the pens filled tomorrow. But I don't uh, already have them pre-filled because I'm working all day today. This is Sunday, the 29th of September, 2019. And I'm working all day with the uh, blue ink that I just reviewed. So hopefully this is helpful to you. See how different they came out. Whoops. So I should have them together. I mean, it's just totally random, totally different. But I really enjoy doing it. And it's just like with the Nick Stewart technique. You just, you never know what you're going to get. And they'll never be the same, no matter what. So that's what's fun about it, I think. So have fun. Be careful because it does splatter. And sometimes I find up here around, but it's an old stainless steel sink. So it's going to be fine. <laughs> and everything pretty much cleans off, but... Have a good time with it, and hopefully this was helpful, but I'm going to link that other video because I think they had more of a technique, more of an actual something you could do more. And I'll probably watch it again too because I'm geeky that way, but <laughs> I'll see you on the next video and hope this was helpful. Bye for now.